today I want to talk about how I use my cameras, one of my camera user buttons to uh, trigger record on the Ninja V. So let's get to it. All right, so I have both of them on. I have my camera on and I have the Ninja V on. So first of all, let me explain something. And hopefully you can see both, both screens pretty clearly. Um, in order for me to get um, 422 10-bit out of my camera into the Ninja, um, once I set that up in my camera, um, you can no longer actually hit record on the camera. So, like I said, when I'm going, I'm going out of my camera, 422 10-bit into the Ninja, um, the record button and actually internal recording into my camera is disabled. So anytime um, I'm using this setup and I want to record, I have to actually physically hit um, the record button on the Ninja. But there's a workaround and I discovered this uh, a while back ago and the workaround is to use actually one of the uh, user buttons that is actually in the camera. So I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. All right, so I'm going to start right now and I'm, I'm kind of starting backwards or whatever. I want to start with the Ninja first. Um, first of all, um, in the record section of the Ninja, uh, one thing I noticed is that um, in order to do this, um, you can't use, or I can't use, I can't use the um, H.265 version of the codec. So I have to use um, ProRes, any, any one of the ProRes, either HQ or the other two that actually um, you can use. So first I had to, uh, in the record section of the Ninja, I had to change it to ProRes. All right, then um, I just want to go to my source. My source is the HDMI cable, which is right here. Okay, um, so we go to input. Okay, and when we go down to here, we have to make sure in remote, we have to make sure that it's camera controls. So I just set that up. All right, so that's it for the Ninja, I believe. Okay, so now if we go into the actual camera settings it, itself, and like I said, hopefully you can see all of this. Um, we wanna go into the menu, all right? And I wanna show you in system mode what I'm talking about. So in system mode, as you can see, output bits, I am at 422 10-bit, that's the output, all right? And I'm also recording in 4K, and that's that's uh, the true 4K right there. All right, so now, I have my little notes right here. Um, now we're gonna go to, let's see. The user. Okay, so my user four selection right here, I had to set it to auto record. So you you set your user button to auto record. That would give you the ability to hit record on your camera and it'll activate the record on your ninja. All right. So I'm using user four, the user four button in order to do that. All right, so now let's go out. And now let's go into the output menu. Okay, in the output, um, as you see, I selected the HDMI. Um, we're gonna leave that alone with the resolution and um, the SDI remote. Put that on on the remote record link I keep that on off and let's see and the HDMI timecode output I have on on so 
Let's now return to the main screen and I'm gonna cross my fingers. Hopefully I did all the steps right. But now right here is the user button four. Let's see what happens when I hit user button four. As you can see, once I hit the user button four, it activated the Ninja V. Once again, I'm gonna stop it. Okay. Stop it. Okay, so now it's recording. I just stopped it. I'm gonna record again and you can see the button gets triggered on the Ninja V. And I just stopped the record. So yeah, so that's how I go about um, being able to use one of my user buttons on my camera to uh, trigger the record button on the Ninja V.